I have a little mini haul from one of my favorite stores on the planet, Yoseka Stationery, run by a husband and a wife, an amazing team of staffers. Um, this was in my mailbox when I got back from vacation, and they have a postcard that they always have a personal handwritten note and like saying um, a season's greetings, at least for this one. They also have one for, they did one for each quarter last year. I don't know what their plan is, if they're going to have them more frequent, but they have one of their staffers. Um, I think it was Amy who did the cover of this one it's so cute and then they it's so personalized I love it um, thanks for ordering again yes again because I order them from them quite a bit so um, they always come in this a great paper bag stamped on there sometimes I add this to my journal um, but I always add this because I think I want to start collecting them um, as the year progresses so let's go over what I uh, got a little mini haul um, I don't buy a ton, so I just want to be very thoughtful with my purchases. So let's go ahead and start with these things. These are called print on stickers. This is what they call them, but that's not what they're not actually stickers. In my estimation, they're rub ons. And these are the series I got. I love this because it had all of the numbers. There are two sheets in every single pack. I think they're around $5 a piece, so they're very reasonable. I love how muted colors. And the cool part about them is just like most every rub on, um, you can write on top of them. So um, who's ready to play? Let's go ahead. I have my common planner. Um, I've got a little bit um, of it set up here for um, decorating. Let's go ahead and move forward with some more decorating. Here's some more of that print on rub on stuff. Um, it's just so smooth. I love it that it doesn't bulk up. So when I feel like I'm using too much cardstock, etc., I use that um, because you can, like when you write on it, it gets a little bulky, but I mean, let's be honest, my handwriting isn't perfect anyway. So if I mess up, it's, it's all going to be okay. So let's, um, let's decorate this week with one of these. So you just cut it out. I have un been known, of course, to just take off like the paper and then like do this, this on the side. Um, I would highly suggest not doing that because you can screw it up pretty good. So you just cut them out, take off this backing paper and then put it where you want. I'm going to put it, I always have a dividing line here in the, in the middle between the two and then you push down and then, um, I usually have a craft stick or something. Um, here's a bone folder I've got next to me. So then you just rub, see how that's really loved. Um, and then you take off the, the front paper and it sticks on. I just grabbed one of my Unipins. This is a 0.3. You can use probably any permanent marker or anything that you would write in a hobo um, with the Tamo River paper. But this, um, I'm just going to write this week. And they're sturdy enough that the pen doesn't like rip it apart when you're writing because I have a pretty heavy hand. And then you just wait a little bit and it dries and then you've got um, some really cool decoration. It's super easy, super affordable. Um, I love these things. So next up, move you to the side, is this. And this is called a travel organizer. I saw this, hold on, it's on their YouTube channel. They have a YouTube channel where they talk about new products that they're getting in every single week or month. And I thought this would work really well with um, not just th some of these uh, rub-ons, but some of the other stickers um, I've got. So um, it's got this great closure here. It does smell a little bit like plastic, but what do you expect? Um, it's the Nahi Drift Travel Organizer. And it's got these this little pocket up front, little logo there, zip pocket here. Um, and then it has another slide in pocket. Looks like it has a pocket over here and then these business card holders. And then of course another pocket over here. My concern is um, it won't hold the huge Coco Daisy sheets. The answer is no, a planner cape clearly won't fit, but um, I think it'd be a cute little travel organizer. It's very low profile. So that's what I got. There are tons of different colors. Of course, I got a neutral shocker. Um, here's the next thing. I saw this, these are, um, it's perforated washi tape. So coolly packaged. Did you see how slick that came out? There are three individual rolls of washi. Of course, they had different styles. 
Most of them had already sold out, but this one has numbers, then now more numbers and washi that you can take off the roll and cut and it's own, like its own little thing here. So that's pretty, and it's really see-through and it's really thin washi. On the scale of washi thickness, this is really thin. Really surprised how well that come out. And then um, it does say on here, writable with a water ink pen. Again, that's why I have these unis. And just like all of the stuff we write with, with on our hobo paper, um, you just have to give it a second to dry. So there you go. That's so cool. And I love how they have numbers right in the middle. I'm going to open up one of the numbered ones and see what that looks like. Oh, so you could use it for like dating an undated planner. Well, that's just nifty. You've got basically, oh my gosh, I can't even read how much you have, but you've got a pretty significant amount. Um, then my next thing I got were these habit trackers. This I've always looked for like a month where you can um, put it places. So this is a habit tracker. And we can always use a highlighter on top of it. It has three different designs and there's 10 sheets per design. And these are really cute and handy. Oh, how cute is this? I think they're like sticky notes. Yeah, they are exactly like sticky notes. They're not permanent. So you can move them around if you wanted to. I think that would be really cool up front here. And I'm gonna get my highlighter and highlight. See how that works. It's my gray mild liner. Oh, that works so great. It really does. And they're super thin and you can move them around. The only complaint I have is that the sticky is not as sticky as say like um, Post-it brand, but those are super cute and they work really great. Let's segue into um, my next purchase, which is the Sarasa Clip. I know a lot of people are already using these. I've always used the Sarasa Dries, so this is a different pen, and they come in all different colors as well, but I got the black. Um, oh, perfect, because it really works well on um, my week's paper, so I got another one of those. And then I got a Pentel Hybrid Milky Pen. Now, this is like the Pentel one, um, but I've decided to branch out a little bit, try something different with um, my white pen. Um, let's go ahead and find something where I can write on top. This is just regular cardstock. It's coming out fairly wet evenly. That's my only big complaint about white pens, is it really comes out sometimes really chunky there's the flow is not consistent. So I thought using a Pentel um, rather than a regular inexpensive brand would be a little bit more um, cost efficient. Uniballs usually cost a lot more. And I'm not a big fan of that big barrel, just being honest. So this really thin barrel really will work great. I think moving forward, looks like it's drying pretty quickly. I'll do a little test here in the corner that I started in. Get you up and close. Okay, ready? It looks a little goopy too. Oh, it's very, it's dry, dry already. That's so cool, that dried really quick. Okay, big fan, um, big purchase, not really. I'm excited about this one. All right, my last thing I got, you ready to play with me? Okay, these are Sachi Hada's ink pads. Now Traveler's Notebook people have been using this brand for a long time. They swear by them. I've never used them. This time they've come out. They used to have large pads like you would like a Versafine, which is my preferred black ink because of the detail, but they came out with little ones and it's really hard to find Versafine in the small squares if you just want black. I mean, you're spending like six, seven dollars on just a little one. So for like two fifty, three bucks from Yoseka, I thought I would give it a try. So I'm going to go ahead and get a, like a detailed stamp. I'm going to pick some of my, I love my Everyday Explorer stamps. They're so detailed. So I want to take a look at some of how that would work out. I'm going to pick this one. It has a lot of detail and I'm going to stamp with one ink and then I'm going to stamp with the other. Let me get all set up and I'll meet you right back. Travel, travel, 10. Okay. That's why I have an index because I don't want to be flipping. Okay. Perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and start with my Versafine 
This is Soak It Up. I'm gonna soak it up and it has a little palm tree and some sunglasses. It's really, really fine. So let's try the VersaFine first. Oh, I need to put a little backer here. Okay, fairly well soaked in. Like if you wait a little bit longer than normal to do your stamps, it soaks up the ink. So I technically I should have probably gotten a timer. All right, not bad. I mean, stamping is, you know, stamping. But I did get gray and I did get this black. So let's go ahead and try the black. Sometimes versifying gets a little wet and I'm curious to see how wet this gets. And yes, this I did not prime the, the, the stamp at all because I've used it before. So if you're asking, again, not scientific. And now I'll just fake how long um, I actually kept it on there the first time for the second time. And I think that was about it. Whoa. All right, here you go. Here is my scientific look at the detail in the Sachihata versus the Versafine. Oh, I am a believer. Guess I'm buying more. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Okay. I'm so excited. Well, it didn't look like I had any ink on there at all and I over inked it probably. But that's good. It's pretty dark gray. Yeah, that gray is like if you don't want jet black, that's the perfect gray because it's. I thought it would be too light. It's not. So anyway, that ends my little mini Yoseka haul. Um, yeah, uh, that was winning. Definitely winning. Um, I love my print on stickers. Actually, I'd give every single one of my um, purchases like a thumbs up for sure. Uh, no bad duds in this bunch. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Um, enjoy shopping and um, I'll see you later. Thanks guys.